Hey, what's up internet? So today we want to go through a couple of different tools that I like using for visualizing data structures and algorithms. So whether you're trying to learn stacks, queues, hash maps, ABLs, binary heap, graphs, bloom filters, or some sorting algorithms like quick sort, merge sort, radix sort, whatnot, these tools I found are really helpful, at least for me, in sort of thinking through conceptually how these work outside of code. So if you're a visual learner like me, these tools might be useful. So let's get started. So the first one that I want to share with you, if you don't already know about, is this tool made by the University of California at San Francisco, or the US, S, USF, harder to say than maybe I'd like to admit. Anyway, um, this is pretty cool in that you go here and you can look at the algorithms, you can look, I think, at the data structures in different places, but here's like how you might implement a, a stack with an array. So you could add a number here, like let's add 10. We'll push that onto the stack. Let's put on another number. Let's make it a thousand because we're really intense. And then let's say we wanted to, to pop something off. So it's gonna come off the back and you can just sort of see how that works. If you wanted to look something at something like a red black tree or a heap, they're all here. Graph algorithms are here, dynamic programming. There's a lot of cool stuff. So I'd encourage you to sort of think about if and how this might be useful to you. For example, I was learning a lot about B-trees the other day and how they're used in SQL algorithms and indexing and stuff. So this was a cool resource to sort of visually think through what I was learning about SQL. Next is sort of a newer player on the block. It's called Visualgo or Visualgo. I, I defer to, to people more knowledgeable than myself how to actually pronounce this. But one of the major things that I like about Visualgo is that you can change the language. So we could put it in Russian if we wanted. Um, and then you will see, I presume that's Russian. I can't actually read or speak Russian, but I think that's pretty cool. Like here's just, I think Chinese. So we'll go back to English and do some of these demonstrations. Here are the different sorting algorithms. So you could say sorting in array, sorting um, bubble sort. Let's say we want to do insertion sort. So you click here sort of gives you a little description. And then uh, you can create an array. You could decide that you want it something like, we'll go back to 100 and 1,000. You hit go, and it will not allow you to do that because we did not read the directions, but we'll say 50 and 49. Hit go. and. That's sort of how that works. And then we, we sort it and we hit go. And what I like is it sort of shows you the code of how you might do that, which I, I personally found like relatively helpful. Then if you go back, you might be able to see how this is working. Boom, we're done. So I'm gonna go back to the home page, and then we'll look at something like a linked list Ooh, or a hash table. Again, you could read these directions but you could create a linked list. I like the fact that you can do random or random assorted. That's pretty cool. And then you could say search for the value. We'll search for the value of 57. 57. Hit go. Again, it's gonna walk you through that. It's pretty cool. And then if you wanted to search for the value of 15, 15 is not in there. So you could see how that works as well as sort of some of the different values there. So I find these tools really, really useful. Uh, they also have a search bar, which you could look for something like uh, segment tree or um, binary search tree. But I find that this tool has been really useful for me for sort of learning some of the new data structures that I wanna prepare for for bigger interviews. So in any case, this was a summary of two of the top resources that I really like for data visualization of algorithms and or data structures. And that was a resource here by the University of San Francisco. And then here, it was unclear to me how we should actually pronounce this, but I was gonna say Visualgo, Visualgo. Anyway, a few random thoughts. If you know how to pronounce this, put in the comments. If there are other resources that you like to use in order to learn algorithms or data structures or more specifically, visualize those, feel free to add them in the comments. If you are interested and haven't already, feel free to subscribe. We try to create videos every, every week, every month, sort of depends on what's going on in the rest of life. But thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Cheers.